Hi Dania. Hi sir, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you, Dania? I'm feeling good, thank you. Yeah. So Dania, uh, yes. I was going through your resume. Okay. Uh, me and the team, you found very, you know, uh, proficient and very, you know, feel that potential candidate. So before uh, understanding your resume, you want to more about to your uh, education experience, your what you work, previous project, last company. How was your experience in BFS Global London? Uh, I think you are look, working in a uh, UK location, correct? Yes, UK location. So we just want more about your, uh, you know, in, including your education experience and work. Can you okay. please detail about it? Sir, sir. Uh, sir, I'm from Kerala. Uh, I was born and brought up in Kerala and I had my education in uh, polymer technology. I did post-graduation uh, from Kuchin University of Science and Technology. And later I worked uh, for, uh, let, let I worked in Europe's Global London. There I had one year of experience as a data analyst. And I had proficiency in SQL, Excel, um, and Tableau. And I do have knowledge in Python. So that's all about me. Thank you. Good. So how you got opportunity to be a London location as you were, you know, you're staying, you're started in Kerala. How you got opportunity? Can you beat? Yes, sir. sir I got married uh, and then I moved to London in 2015. And then um, even though my education background was different, I had the knowledge in the um, IT, in the tech field. So uh, they applied as, um, I applied for the, uh, when I saw the position. And uh, I got it as I had the knowledge in uh, IT field. Okay, as you work in a different polymer technology, yeah. how where you got your know, inspiration and how you motivated to start in data analysis career? Because my husband belongs to IT field, so uh, I had also in, also interest in the IT field, even though I had chemical background. Um, but uh, there I found some difficulty in attaining uh, a job in my own. Um, um, I am coming on discipline. So um, I thought it's okay, it's better to change the uh, domain because even though we uh, got stuck in one field, we don't have to wait for long. So I just changed. I tried with a new domain and I got I got the job. Okay. In BFS Global, what is your role and responsibility? I mean, what you deal there, your daily task? Okay. Daily task in the sense, um, we receive a lot of applications in different for different services like passport application, visa application, and overseas citizenship of India application. So uh, uh, all those were paper applications. So what they do is we they collect uh, information in the system as per the when the application is processed, the data will be collected. And my daily task include uh, extracting the data and then make the necessary uh, screening part as uh, there will be some missing data and some duplicates. Uh, like the human, because of some human errors even. So uh, this, um, after, extract, uh, after cleaning, extracting, and uh, the processing part, then I will do the visualization. Okay. As you mentioned, the BFS Global is an outsourcing yeah. and technology company. Okay. Yeah. And uh, mostly dealing with the UK visa and processing. Yeah. Data, and uh, as you mentioned in your resume, data governance, how it has yeah. helped that uh, organization? And how it is simplifying your the visa processing and when you are maintaining data, large of data into your database, what are the things you look after, you know, in your database? Um, okay, uh, the first question regarding the data governance, as I said, I worked in the passport um, uh, company. It is really important to have a confidentiality in the data. Means we need to have regulations. So the data governance is simply uh, the data uh, um, that is, uh, governance is simply about setting the rules and regulations to increase the data uh, security. Uh, so uh, this was really important in our uh, in our office because of the confidentiality in the passports of different people of different countries. Uh, so um, um, I'm sorry, I'm stuck in the question. Yeah, yeah. So this was really go ahead. Okay, fine. So this was really, uh, so the data help, uh, governance helped us in that way that to increase the sec data security of the uh, application. And regarding the database, um, sorry, could you please repeat that question? Okay, I'm clear. The, the additionally, I want to add one more thing. Yeah. What is meant by data governance? 
data governance means it is uh, data governance are mainly used to in, uh, improve the data security and data accuracy um, to help uh, that means managing and controlling the data of an organization what are the what are the you know uh, attribute what are the primary work data governance includes uh, means uh, data security yeah and data accuracy yeah and data quality data quality data quality sorry for that data quality okay okay so any specific tool you are using for data governance yeah how you manage the data into database a uh, specific tool means we use it, uh, through the uh, management server system we uh, maintain the database okay yeah 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 no, for data governance, any specific tool are you using? Uh, no such specific tools were used. Okay, okay. How data governance is different from data analysis? Yeah, both are same. Or how will we differentiate? The data analysis is um, all about analyzing the uh, underlying patterns and trends and giving insight to the company to have a business-driven decision. Data governance is all about, uh, it's not analyzing. What they are doing is basically to how to improve the data quality and the data accuracy. And so it is different in the sense. Um, it, it's not like um, improving the um, decision making. It has allowed the company to have quality data, mm -hmm. thereby improving the performance. Okay, so who is coming first? Data governance is coming first? Yeah, data analysis is coming first. That changing as per the uh, recommends in the current scenario, uh, data analytics is uh, really important, but maybe in future data... No, my question is, suppose yeah. you want to work two tasks is there. Yeah. Data, you're analyzing the data mm -hmm. and governing the data. Who is coming first? Analyzing the data and governing the data in the sense, first, um, I think data governance will come. Exact, exact. Yeah. Super, very excellent, nice. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, coming to next, as you mentioned, a ETL data management project. Yes, yes. Can you bit explain what is that ETL data management project you, you involve and what is your responsibility in that? ETL management project uh, in extracting, transforming, and loading. What it is was uh, extracting the different information uh, that we get from different sources. That is mainly the files were received in Excel or CSV files. So, after the cleaning and uh, cleaning part, I extract the data into the database. And using the query through analysis, I do the um, I do the uh, queries. I will make and then will go to the Excel and to have visualization. Okay, very nice. Thank you. So you mentioned that SQL. You are very good, strong knowledge, solid knowledge in extracting data from database. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Which database you are using currently? MS Server database. Microsoft database. Microsoft database, yes. Yeah. But if you get an opportunity to work in Oracle or Teradata, is it uh, you are going to manage the database? Of course, sir. I'll try to. I love to learn new things. So I will definitely will look into that. What is a SQL query clause and what are the different query clause operators available in SQL? SQL query clause is used to filter the data we have as per a particular criteria. Okay. And what are the operators in the workloads? Operators mainly used uh, in with the workloads are in operator, like operator, uh, between, uh, not in, and this uh, operators like greater than, equal, uh, less than, equal to, etc. Do you have a pen paper with you? Yes, sir. Okay. So consider one table is uh, called the employee table. Okay. And uh, their employee ID. Okay. And the uh, employee salary is there. Employee table of the employee ID and salary, right? Salary is there. Okay. I, I want to paste the specific record from table. Like okay. I want to paste the employee ID 3, 9, and 18. What is the syntax for that? 3, 9, and 18 employee ID. Fetch the record, right? So it is select star from EMP table, EMP, word, ID in. Three, your ID in bracket three comma nine comma eighteen bracket close and semicolon. Super, excellent, nice. So, uh, moving to next question. Yeah. What is SQL join and what are the different joins available 
in you know SQL. SQL joins are used to join different table in a database. Uh, so uh, in SQL join, the tables are uh, joined in rows. That means uh, different row by row they are joined. There are different types of join that is uh, inner join, then have outer join, um, then have full join, and then uh, self join. In okay. outer join, we have left join and right join. Okay, so there is a scenario. We have yeah. a two table. One is a customer uh, Bangalore table. One is a Hyderabad table. Okay. So I want to get all the data mm -hmm. from Bangalore table match up a Hyderabad. Which join you are going to work? Use that. Uh, so, so we need all the data from the Bangalore table mm -hmm. to be attached to the Hyderabad table, right? Correct. What are the so I yeah, yeah. So I use huh. left join. Okay, left join. Nice. Left. Moving to uh, yeah. next question is SQL. What is SQL set operator and what are the set operator available? Set operators are mainly used to um, um, join or what we say join the result set. That is uh, to join the um, two tables in the column wise. Column wise means we are using select operators uh, with a um, with a select statement. We are using uh, um, we are using the select with the set operators to join two result sets mainly in the column wise. I mean in um, in vertically we join. Okay. Uh, how it is different from SQL join and a set operator? A join we uh, we if you're in with the join the tables are joined in row wise. Yeah. And instead we um, the tables are joined in column wise. Set data. Okay. Data yes. is fetching from two table. Table, join yeah. we are getting the data at the uh, uh, horizontally that is called row wise in set operator we are getting data column wise that is called vertically correct yes yes, yes. okay and different types of um, set operators are union union all intersect and exit very nice moving to next question yeah. what is we school windows function and what are the windows function till date you use Index functions are, as it says, it no, is... No, no, no. Windows function, sorry. Windows function. Sorry. Windows function. Windows function are uh, basically uh, the rank uh, yeah. row... Uh, sorry, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. So, it's, uh, there are uh, three, uh, different types of window functions. They are means basically rank, dense rank, row number, and end time. Very nice. Super. What is the difference between rank and dense rank? So the dense rank and time both will uh, both will assign a position to each record, but the difference comes in the sense that uh, the uh, rank will skip if they have the same value, uh, but the dense rank will not skip the values. Uh, for example, if uh, if if a product has a product A has rank one and the product uh, B has also rank, if they have the same value, they will get the same rank. And when it comes to product C with the different value, in the dense rank, it will come up as rank 2, but in rank, it will come up as rank 3. Okay, nice. What is SQL stored procedure and why you use stored procedure? SQL stored procedures are mainly used to store SQL query. So the advantages of it is uh, we do not have to use um, not only to store the, um, sorry, I will explain it again. Stored procedures are mainly used to store the SQL queries and SQL tables. So the advantage is that we don't have to write the queries again and again. Uh, they will be, we can call it just by calling it uh, with the name that we already saved it. So this will uh, reduce the network trafficking and it will save us time as well. It will help us to reduce the complexity of the query. I have an analytical question for you. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'll text in the chat box. You can okay. tell me. Okay. Uh, hope you received that chat message. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you read that question? A frog is jumping out of a well 30 feet deep. Yeah. Each day he jumps three feet and flips two feet back. How many days does it take frog to jump up to 30 feet out of well, right? Correct, yeah. Give me some time, sir.
30 days. Sorry? 30 days. Okay, you check and uh, uh, after finish, you can have a look how yes. it is coming. Excellent, next, no problem. So moving to data visualization, it looks like a very solid knowledge in data visualization tool. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean by data visualization? How will define visual? Data. Yeah. Uh, okay, data visualization in the sense, uh, we if we get the analyzed data, um, we will visualize it using the graphs and reports so that the uh, team will be available. The company the organizations will be uh, that will be helpful to the organization to take a good uh, business driven decision because they will be that will be so easy for them to understand rather than seeing the complex data. So when you were telling, I mentioning I was doing in a. Uh, like in London, you came uh, yeah. in behavior regular. Many visualization you done. Like yeah. Your organization working for, uh, you know, visa status, all the things you are uh, tracking the application, tracking the, uh, you know, uh, successfully the reach to the destination. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about to uh, analysis, okay, you were telling I was analyzing the data, query through analyzing, okay, visually mm -hmm. analyzing, statistically analyzing. So which one a common man can understand? Which analysis will you do out of three, four you were mentioned? Which one is, is anyone can understand? Uh, among the visualization date, I think uh, the common can, man can understand the Excel visualization using okay, the visually visual analyzing data. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Thank you. So in, which visualization tool are you using? So, uh, I'm using the, the tablet. Tablet. If you ask me, Ayo, why you are not using Power BI? Um, because the Tableau has, has more advantage than Power BI. Like it has, uh, it is hundred percent faster than any other tools available now, mm -hmm. and um, and it uh, it can handle large amount of data, mm -hmm. and it can have um, all the modifications can be uh, seen uh, can be updated automatically. So all those are the advantages for the um, and have uh, interactive dashboards as well for the Tableau. Okay. Tell me, yeah. in Tableau, which section you do all your data cleaning activities? Sorry, sir? In which section of a Tableau you do all your data cleaning activities? Uh, in the section means... Um, there is a four tab, mostly you prefer. Yes, the no. data source. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. In data source level, we do yeah. all your data cleaning activities. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What is the SQL custom coding tableau? SQL custom coding tableau means um this it is like the SQL query itself. Um I don't have clear picture about the SQL question code, but mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, I think it is like the um it's like the query that we uh, write in SQL with the uh, the tableau automatically uh, generate a query uh, in the the data we uploaded. I means I mean the visualization we done. Okay. Okay. Nice. So coming to a uh, few database uh, and Excel question also there. What is a VLOOKUP formula? VLOOKUP formula is uh, equal to VLOOKUP. Mm -hmm. Um, lookup value, mm -hmm. table array, mm -hmm. the column number, row uh, means uh, row I use them. Okay. What is the uh, you know difference between the report and dashboard? Uh, report and dashboard in the same dashboards are the place where we uh, create we uh, store all the visualization. And um, I have, um, I think that all the, um, uh, what we call, all this collection of dashboards are called the reports. Okay, you and mean all, all the reports, okay, all the reports. Uh, huh. Okay, In this question you can check and, uh, you know, after this meeting you can. Uh, all right, it. all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is SQL uh, Excel slicer? Sorry? Slicer. Slicer is used to uh, connect the data. I mean, after visualization, 
the slicer will help us to uh, connect the uh, interconnect the data so that if we make changes in the data it will be automatically will reflected in the chart we created okay or in the graph we created yeah okay. so i think you you have also knowledge on python too yes sir yeah so what are the different uh, libraries still that you used i have used only panda library mm -hmm. and who is the library used for data visualization um for uh, data visualization sorry i don't remember clearly okay no problem okay. so if you see uh, like he, you were working in such a reputed company at uh, that to be uk location yeah. why you left in the organization such a everybody is a dream to go there london and uk and working this reputed organization why you you left that organization uh, there were two reasons. Uh, first one was that uh, we went there as um, I got ICT visa, that intra company transfer visa, and I, it was dependent me because I, my husband got ICT visa and mine was dependent visa. So we went there for a project for three years. So after finishing the project, we decided to come back. The company was really good. Every uh, we had a very good team work there. It helped me to develop a lot in the, especially in the tech field improve my skills and all but there was no option left with me uh, other than leaving the uk okay excellent tell me why we need to hire you sir i am basically looking um, back to re-entry to career because i have been a break on my break since last last few years due to maternity so i basically i'm looking for a career that can upskill my skills and uh, to have a good uh, identity for and have that part of my own so I just wanted to get back so that I can have my own, uh, my own board. Uh, um, my I have I need to develop by myself mainly for that. What is your strength? My strength is I am a good team worker. Uh, I can have good leadership qualities as well, and I have the um, strength or I have the uh, ability to love uh, to learn new things quickly. So I'm a, I'm a person who loves to new, uh, do new things uh, and to love, love to, uh, new things, uh, what, to learn uh, new things. Do you consider yourself a success? Of course I am. How? Course I am. Yeah. In the sense that, uh, in, in the, while considering the um, career, even though I was in break for a few years, I had uh, benefited uh, a lot of things in between. So that it, even though I have nothing to show in the resume, yeah, what I have is individually it has benefited a lot. So I know uh, how to proceed my career. Uh, so in the sense, we even though I'm stuck in one field, I will not stand there. I will just move on with the what I have. And I will try to uh, get up from where I am. And I will always to go move forward with my positive attitude. I'm a happy mentality person, so I have my group or have people around me to help uh, just by helping others. And I think I have the positive attitude. That is the main strength I have. Oh, nice. Excellent. Thank you. Do you have a question for us? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my question is, I would like to know the joining period and I would like to know the salary part which you can offer me. Yeah, definitely, Danya. So this is yeah. our second round. There is one more All round right. for clients. Right. Okay. And meanwhile, also, we are taking a few more candidates. If you are shortlisted for next round, from my side, I feel that positive uh, from your, uh, you know, your interview. And uh, right. if your profile shortlisted from, uh, you know, HR side, they are going to connect you for that. All so, right. Uh, so. If nothing, then we will end up the um, meeting today. Thank you. Yes, Thanks. Thank you so All much. All the best. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Have you for your time. Bye. Bye.